So I would love to know for you guys that are watching, how are you guys taking care of yourself? What are you guys doing for self care? Do you guys have a good level of balance in your own life? Let me know on the scale of one to 10, how balanced your life is and uh, tell me why. Thanks for putting this together. <laughs> so we're going to take a stab at this being your yeah. first one, which is yeah. awesome. I just want to touch on a couple of things before jumping into like project specific stuff. One is I would really love to try to organize like an offsite team building in terms of like talking about how we really operate as a team and how we can work together even better and how we can continue to grow more as a team and as a company. So I have two things to say around that. One is I'd really encourage you guys to start thinking about your big audacious goals. The things that you imagine for yourself and your career. And it could be anything from, I don't know, like you want to eventually become design director for a company. You want to work for a multifaceted company that where there's like 50 people in the organization. You want to grow to become partner. I don't know, like I think you guys really need to think about or should start thinking about like big picture for you, like if that one goal or those few goals that you would love to have that in your career, in your life. It doesn't have to be that. It could also be, you know, I want an amazing, satisfying career with more time off. I don't know. Like, whatever that is for you and, like, truly and authentically for you, um, I just really want you to think, encourage you to think about it so that we can talk about that. And also because, like, I would love to make that happen. Sound good? Sounds fun. <laughs> okay, good. We had scheduled the branding session for okay. Friday morning which was a, uh, I totally gapped because I'm actually not going to be here on Friday. I don't know if we want to maybe just talk about the week first and then figure out if we can fit it into the week. I know that there's going to be like a lot of research time where we're out of the office this week. Cool. On admin stuff, Karen, I did use like the new folder structure a little bit for M&M. So I did think it worked really well. So I don't know if we want to like... Perfect. You could run through it with Kelsey and Christy, yeah. and then we could just start moving projects over. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So I'll go down the main uh, project target. It'll be a kind of a process between the three of us, but then as I funnel that to you, that you'll be able to kind of like manage those targets. properly talk about schedule. It's Karen calling from House of Bon. Hey, I'm good, how are you? I just saw your email float in actually, and timeline on our end, again, I'll just you know shoot this in an email just so that you've got it, but we're gonna do a interior, more thorough space plan review. So once we have those plans done, we'll send that over to you. Okay, talk to you later, bye. How's it going? Good. You had a good weekend? Yeah, it's so beautiful. It was a great weekend. It felt like summer this weekend. It was awesome. Just an update in terms of the space plans and the exterior. There is quite a bit of interior space planning that we want to suggest to you guys. Any of the space planning we're doing is not, doesn't look like it's going to be impacting the exterior. So he's good to go. Okay, great. Can I show you this really quick? Yes. Do you want commercial stuff? I think we could probably keep it to just residential. residential. Yeah, so for you guys, this is a good time to tell you guys this right now that I'll be speaking at 
the Luxury Home and Design Show, which is the most luxury show that Vancouver has when it comes to interior design. And it only comes around every few years. Like the last time they did the show was 2015, so three years ago. So I'm gonna be talking about West Coast luxury design and how that's changed in Vancouver and how our portfolio has changed in Vancouver. We'll link the info down below so that you guys can get more info on this show if you're interested in coming. So today's an exciting day because we hit 30,000 subscribers. So thank you so much, all of you guys, for the love and support. And uh, it just keeps growing so fast. It's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, you guys. Um, I have one favor that I want to ask you because we are upping our content frequency. So you guys would already have seen a couple of videos be posted a week. Um, we're going to post every single Monday still at 6 a.m. and as many Thursdays at 6 a.m. as we can. It might not be every single Thursday. So if you guys can just stop what you're doing right now and just hit that notification bell so that you know when content goes live. So we're just going to jump into some media yes. stuff. Vanilla, she's asking, are we sure that we're good to go for tomorrow? Are we doing just stills or stills and video? Let me know what the game plan is. Is we doing project tour? Yeah. I mean, the thing about the project tour, I feel like we don't, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. We can just wing it and do we it really could, quick. We could just wing it. I still feel like yeah. this, yeah. we could be doing yeah. so much more with that. I know. Sharing yeah. more ideas and written word. Yeah, totally. Life updates, business updates. More personal? Yeah. Okay, so logo then really quickly. Yeah, like I know the Karen part. Yeah. You're not stoked on the font. Or this is completely, it looks handwritten. If we got a Sharpie, I could put it into Vector. Let's it see. might be better to do it thinner because I can always make it thick. I can try that. Yeah, totally. We're good for that. And then for Bonafide, yes. I have to put my golf date in here with Chris, otherwise I'll forget. So we are shooting Wednesday morning and then what I think is probably going to happen is tiling. I'm going to put this in as like a tentative date, but as long as the dates are in the calendar for shooting, I think we're good. busy busy Monday as usual you guys are lucky you get to come into the office with me every Monday you get to join our Monday morning meetings what's up bud I appreciate all the feedback on the day in the life videos I know you guys really like those videos so that's great um, I'm getting ready just to jump into another meeting actually in one minute as the day goes so today hasn't there hasn't been a lot of time to really like talk to you guys and explain what's going on but this is just the normal everyday life of a busy entrepreneur making stuff happen, juggling a whole bunch of things, going from meeting to meeting. Um, yeah, I definitely would say that you, you, you need to have a lot of really good mental space in order to be, in order to be able to go from thing to thing to thing to thing during the day. And you know what's been helping me a lot is working out more. That's been helping me a ton. So I'm really trying to make a point of doing that. I'm going to go for a workout tonight, actually. But you guys can come with me to the next meeting. The next meeting is going to be more design related. Uh, and I'll be jumping in with Kelsey, the new employee, which will be fun. So this is Oscar's little Kong. And I feed him Larabar. Hey, bud, sit down. Larabar, these natural bars that are made with like dates and banana and all this good stuff and he just loves it so when he's being really needy and needs a lot of attention and I just need him to go do his own thing I just stuff his little Kong full of Lara bar but he loves it yeah I know wait 
See, now he'll wait for like half an hour. You know what someone said in the last video? They were like, I think you like to drink a lot of coffee. You do. <laughs> I do. It's like, oh. Do you? Yeah. Totally. Who doesn't? Me. <laughs> I feel like if you're a creative, you have to you live off coffee. Do you drink anything besides coffee? Yeah, I have a tea in the morning and then I have two coffees during the day. So when are we going to see your morning routine? <laughs> when the new house is done. You can let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see my morning routine? I don't know how exciting it's going to be, but I'll definitely show you guys. But only when the new house is done. These light fixtures that you sent through. For the boardroom ceiling? Yeah. Hey Christy, can I bug you about that? It was like They're the linear foot, LED thing. Four foot. These lights still need to be quite recessed for you to even be able to see this feature because otherwise we're just looking right up at the lights and the map concept is kind of lost. I mean that was just pulled as a preliminary light fixture mm -hmm. but there's different ways that it could be designed. I. In, yeah. I thought that the easiest thing would be to do along what you have yeah. and that LED um, it actually comes with like a little connector box because I think this has like a frame but the light is consistent all the way through mm -hmm. you don't get like a little dark so spot it right in here yeah I think it yeah, was this one. one I do like this a really nice clean ceiling and in our case, I would imagine that this, instead of this being drywall, this would actually be our wood. But the map itself, you would almost have... Okay, bye. Where the map itself almost has like a little frame. Because I think what happens is that this housing is probably what gets screwed into the ceiling. You put your drywall up and then the light clips in. Mm -hmm. But then, like, how does it secure to the drywall? Because at least with yeah, the backing, we'll you can back screw instead. it into... Because yeah. we won't be able to screw these all in. No. no. So we just need the backing to screw that into. Yeah. See, it comes as, like, one solid piece. Yeah. And then you maybe yeah. screw it into the studs, and then they can yeah. fill and paint the ceiling. I think that this is close enough to say this is what we're talking about now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that this is the light fixture. The reason why I wanted something like this is because it's a color changing LED. I was trying to be like, well, if you want to change it to blue one day, you can do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Without having to yeah. impact the design too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although you can get the frame white, which is standard black or silver. Well, I really like the idea of wood on white. I thought that oh, was cool. Yeah. Like a red oak to match the that table. Ideal. Ideal. Because then we don't have all these different wood types and we just have this one. Yeah. So if these guys can cut them out. Or they may be able to supply the wood at yeah, least. Yeah, exactly. They could even supply like a thinner piece if we're doing it on standoff mm -hmm. so it's not so heavy. Hey Christy, I just want to see if we can get the wood. So that it's the same finish. Okay, cool. And I think option two would be white on white. Yeah, this material, standoffs, that there'd be a backing, that's enough from like a design perspective of how it would mm -hmm. go together. Okay. And now I have a clear idea that that this is what you're envisioning too. And yeah. So do we want to go kind of space by space totally. on this? Did you make any changes oh, yeah. here? You so took out the yes. nook here too, right? If you could have just a massive kitchen and having that is like really one of the selling features. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Okay, I mean, it is good to do like a little bit of concept, I guess, because it does influence space planning. But I'm just mm -hmm. thinking that fireplace in the middle there. Right, yeah. So if the units are big enough, that's a possibility as mm -hmm. well. You know, in this case, is it better to just have the fireplace here? And yeah, we could. Long. I guess what I'm trying to do here is if you can get more of living dining kitchen in a concentrated area, yeah. rather than in this case having your den in there, mm. then your opportunity for entertaining is that much better. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Ooh, it's official! <laughs> Okay, you guys, thank you so much for coming through the day with me today and joining me on another Monday for a day in the life. I 
made sure I got out of the office today at five o'clock because I am headed over to the North Shore. I'm gonna go do the grind with my sister and my sister's boyfriend. I'm gonna spend some family time, some good quality time with family and get a workout on, which is actually where my head has been in the last little while is not so much focused on like work and what can I do in my business. I mean, that is always on my mind. And when you're an entrepreneur, it's never not on your mind. But what's on my mind is actually self-care, taking care of myself, eating well, eating right, sleeping well, working out, um, and having a really good, healthy amount of balance in my life. I know in culture right now, there's this like hustle trend that's happening. Like, how can you hustle more? How can you work later? How can you work longer? How can you do more? And... Yes, there's definitely something to be said for hard work, for sure. But I do think that sleep is important. Self-care is important. Having a balance in your life when you can is really important. And if you don't have that, what are you working for? So I would love to know for you guys that are watching, how are you guys taking care of yourself? What are you guys doing for self-care? Do you guys have a good level of balance in your own life? Let me know on the scale of one to 10, how balanced your life is and uh, tell me why. But we'll say 10 is really balanced and one is not balanced at all. So let me know where you think that you fall on that scale and how balanced your life is. I would love to know. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you take a little bit of time for self-care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you for the attempt on that though, Owen. How much longer do we have? Teach? Um, at your pace? <laughs> yeah, at my pace. How much longer? At your pace? Five minutes.